My name is Juan. I'm from the Experimental Ultrasound and Neural Imaging Laboratory. But I'm here to ask you, what if I told you we could see things without a camera or with a microphone? Well, it is true. It's called ultrasound. It is widely used in the medical field. It has uses from detecting tumors, mapping of the body, or the one that we all know, the baby's first pictures. Well, some ultrasounds take minutes, some take hours, some take absolutely no time at all. That is called clinical machines, which show you what it's, called, what it's going on in real time. Well, I use this equipment to analyze fat and, and fat content in beef. How much fat is in there, for example. Well, we can only see the surface of a piece of meat. But what's inside of it? More fat or just meat? Well, this bad boy right here is called the acoustic microscope. It provides a scan rather slow, but can provide more information. Though it has one name, it's not a single instrument. It's a system consisting of all components working together. The pull generator provides an electrical impulse which travels into a transducer. The transducer contains a crystal-like structure which compresses once it receives an electrical impulse. Once the electrical impulse is released from the crystal, it expands back to its normal shape, creating a, a sound wave which travels in into our sample and back for us to see on the oscilloscope. By having a visual, visual reference, we can determine if we need to move the transducer up or down with the help of the bell mix. The info is then collected in the computer. With the acoustic microscope, we use sandwich to create a picture of the beef we're testing. We only not see the surface, but we can see the insides of it too. By taking slices of the sample, we can determine where the fats are and how much is in there. In this picture, we can see the results of the ultrasound. The meat is dark and fat is white. This process could be used in grading beef by the USDA. This will make the jobs easier and also help them see what more of the type of meat it is. Now, we have identified fat in meat samples, but what type of fat is it? Saturated? Unsaturated? 